Good morning. How are you? Hope you're having a blessed day. We're headed fishing. We're going to the private pond. Uh, we're going to meet Topwater Johnny and his father-in-law. We usually go fishing on Thursday afternoons. Thursday afternoons kind of my, my fishing day. Uh, the wife picks up Thomas, so it makes it a little bit easier for me to get away and sneak out. But we're going to go this morning. It's a Wednesday morning. But welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. That's what she said. you see me out there with my castaway rods and lately I haven't had the landing ratio that I want to have uh, like I said Johnny and I have been fishing on Thursday afternoons really Thursday evenings and we two weeks ago I went six for 22 He just realized he's hooked. Oh! There's one. should say that's on a a uh, Berkeley power bait you can see right here Berkeley power bait that's the fourth bite I've had and the first one I've caught there's another one I'm finding that the the bass wants something really slow so I'm trying to slow down my presentation because I just have had so many strikes where they're just hitting the tail so I've caught a couple, the last two I've caught have all been really, really slow. So that's what the goal is gonna be here now, is just to work the bait as slow as possible. Well, they like the worm. He didn't get off that time. Last week I went two for six or two for seven, um, maybe even two for eight now that I'm thinking about it. So it wasn't, I'm not getting the, the landing ratio that I should. And I believe it's because I, I really like to use really light weight, five, uh, lightweight rods. I like fly fishing with lightweight stuff. I like regular fishing with lightweight stuff. And I think because of it, it makes the, the rod a little bit slower. So today, the OG rods are breaking out for the first time in any video that I've ever done. And it doesn't mean I have anything against Castaway. I just hate asking for rods, to be honest. So these rods are a lot quicker, a lot faster. They're actually my saltwater rods. And I'm gonna see if it helps 
if it helps. They are uh, they're 15, 16, 17 years old. I got them when I first started doing websites for people and uh, this guy was starting up a custom rod company and I found them to be, I still find them to be the best rod I've ever used. And that's nothing against Castaway. These are just really fast, ultra light rods and uh, I'm hoping I have a better success rate. So I'm taking you guys with me. We're gonna see Topwater Johnny. I'll put a link in the description below. And we're gonna meet his, uh, his father-in-law too. So hopefully we all have a good morning. Like I said, I don't normally go fish here in the mornings. So this will probably be just a, a couple hours and then uh, I'll head back and start doing work too. So hope you guys are having a blessed day. Thanks for being part of the team and let's get our fish on, okay? Little one ate that DOA worm. The very next cast after doing that, I got one. That one wasn't getting away. Daichi hook. He ate it that time. Little one. Making me one for three for the day. Little one, nice little one. What the f man? I might have caught a fish. Finally. Where is it? <laughs> Not a giant one. Not a giant one, but as you can see, that was actually caught on the new hyperlastic worm spin. Right there. Look at that. Hyperlastic worm spin. Look at it, it's in its face, jumping with my lure in its face. It broke, look at that, it broke. That wasn't the hook, it wasn't the knot, it broke. Damn it, man. It's still out there jumping.
that fish bit earlier, about four or five casts earlier, and then I went back and cast in the same spot. It got hit again, and my line snapped. Uh, the braid snapped. So I don't know, it wasn't a, a knot problem. It definitely, it definitely was the the braid broke somehow. So now I'm down to one rod, which isn't the worst thing, but that uh, hyperelastic worm spin was doing work, and that was my only one left. So I guess it's time to order some more. So here we go. That was uh, where we are three or four for s four for eight now. So we're at least batting 50%. I mean, we gotta look at the positives. But here we go, back at it. Without losing that one. He's still on, just in the weeds. Oh no, he isn't. I want to personally say thanks for watching the video. So do me a favor, click that thumbs up button and help us grow this channel. If you want to catch your personal best, I'm going to show you how right now. You got to click over here. Why? It lets you subscribe to the damn thing. Or if you want to see our last video, it's right over here. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. We will see you soon. Cheers.